Jack? Fine, fine performance, mate. Thank you, Lee. Yeah, not bad at all. Um, I felt pretty good. Pretty relaxing there tonight. Well, you know, sometimes, you know, it's not obviously the fight you want, but you've said to me, you want to keep busy, you want to keep ticking over. Yeah. You want to make sure that when those big opportunities come, you know, for you either to defend your title or to step up to bigger titles, you want to be ready for them. Uh, and the only way you can do that is keeping busy. Yeah. But sometimes, fighters let themselves down because, you know, you fight Dan Blackwell and you think, oh, well, you know, I don't have to train that hard. That was, that was a prop you. I felt, honest to God, I really felt sorry for Dan Blackwell in there. You punished him with that jab of yours. Every single round, it was just, it was a high work rate. Good movement, your backhand, uppercut, everything that you, you, you know, it was a proper class performance. You didn't take your foot off, your, off the pedal there, did you? No, well, we've been working on stuff in the gym the past couple of months with Mike and Dave, working on absolutely loads of stuff. And uh, I knew Dan Blackwell weren't going to go out easy tonight. I knew he was going to be uh, probably going to be a six round. I thought at one point I might step up and, and stop him, but he weren't there. So instead, we decided to work on things and work on things that we've been doing in the gym, trying them combinations and stepping off. Yeah. Also, still trying to keep high work rate up and keep him active. So do well, what we always do, pumping that jab out and then working off it. Yeah, because you can get lazy, can't you? You know what I mean? You can get so like, into a bit complacent. Yes. Yeah. And and that wasn't there. No, I, I I didn't want to I didn't want to come across. I mean, a good performance against John Ryder, and I didn't want to drop back down to have an half decent performance. Want to come out and, pre and and perform well and keep keep on a high like. Well, it was the opening fight of the night, and it's I mean it's been a cracking night tonight. Yeah. Every fight's been a good fight, uh, and uh, you know I weren't sure what to expect there, Jack, but uh, I was smiling all the way through it. But I will. Also, because I, I, I like Dan Blackwell, but I felt sorry for him because yeah. he gets so much. I mean, I'm just going to put a picture. Those are your gloves down there, and they're just full of blood. Yeah. That's that's from Dan. I mean, he, yeah, it was early on set. His nose did go quiet. I think it was like, it might be the first or second round, and it did persist on pouring all the way through the flight. It was everywhere. <laughs> you swallowed a bit of it, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, got a big mouthful <laughs> in round four. Yeah, it's that Dan, but um, no, no, obviously, it was, yeah, it was, uh, it was a good performance by I me. Mean, I was quite happy with myself. I'm always a bit self-critical, but um, I, I, I think I performed pretty well tonight. Well, I just think, you know, you've just proved now. I mean, obviously, you won the title against a cracking lad in John Ryder. Um, but you couldn't let yourself down in this fight, and I think underperformed. But you didn't. No. You showed everyone that you are leagues above the uh, Dan Blackwell fighters. Yeah. You know, and you, you are British. I mean, you want Tommy Langford, don't you? I want Tommy Langford. I want the British title. I don't want Tommy Langford to see if he wins this, uh, next weekend. Oh, yeah, Sam so Sam I want the winner, Sam Shudi and Tommy Langford. I mean, I've got Tommy Langford ahead. I think he'll win the fight, but he's still got a tough fight with Sam Shudi. So. Yeah, I'm on, you can't write him off, but I want the winner out of them belts. Whoever's got that belt at the end, I want that fight. I'm, I, I've, I've apparently been made um, a British title eliminator against, um, I can't remember his name, Edwards from down south somewhere. Right. Um, so I, I, I'm hoping by the end of January, February next year, I'll be mandatory for the British title. So, so whoever's got that, I, I, I will be boxing for it. Champion. Yeah, I will be British champion. Yeah, listen, I, that was honestly, it was really. Everyone was talking about that, you know, it was the opening uh, fight, uh, six round uh, against an opponent that everyone knew you were going to win, you know, so that's what I'm saying, you know, some people they didn't switch off and you didn't, no. and everyone enjoyed it, mate, it was like, you know, and I think everyone felt a little bit sorry for, for Dan Blackwell there, because he kept trying, he kept coming, but he just kept punishing and you never, ever, not at one point, you let him off the hook. No. So, congratulations, Thank mate. you very much, mate. And while you're here... We're about one fight away from uh, the, the main event of the night, which is Matty Askins, your uh, your mate, yeah. against uh, the Irish kid Tommy McCarthy. Yeah, great fight. I mean, both good kids, but Matty Askins on fire in the gym, out of the gym sparring, fitness-wise. I can only see one, one winner in the fight. I mean, I've watched a little bit of Tommy McCarthy, not too much here, but I, just, I think Matt's got the full... The full but when he's on his game, he's, he's got the full package, he's got the potential to... To, to go right through because he, he's he, always on the performance to be fair on the, on the stage but he's got the potential to absolutely kill it and go beyond and above British level well let's hope when everyone's watching this in the morning you're right sound cheers mate see you guys.